All right, look, we just going to get straight into it today. Check this out. In today's segment of This Is Not Going to Get You Them Draws, brother, featuring Ocho Cinco, this has to be the most delusional man in all of America right now. Check this out. Matter of fact, I just thought about something. Wait a minute, um. Huh? Like, no bullshit. Holy shit. I just thought what? about something. I'm not single. You know what? why? She tweeted... Chad and I are no longer together. Okay. She didn't say Ocho. Oh, that, so that, you, that, so that's that's the other one. That ain't you. Yeah, she she left Chad. So that means Ocho, we still okay. together. You see yeah, what I'm talking about? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. And it's still hope. Yeah, still hope the Lulu. Y'all. Yeah, she say me and Chad are no longer keep together. hope alive. That, that was a, a rev and back in 88 when he ran for president. He said, keep hope alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. We good. Why we good? Hey, chat. We still good. We still good. We still good. I'm in there. I'm in there. Me and Chad are not together. She ain't say Ocho. So if you don't, if you don't include both of us, so technically, we still together. <sighs> I'm in the game. In we the need game. an intervention for him at this point. Shake down said Ocho. What did you do to make that woman leave? Who? Man, bruh, did you not hear what I just said? Yeah. Man, hey, honey, forget why she left. Give me some ideas to get her back. What you talking about why she left? Why do you she want her back? The wrong <laughs> shit. Motherfucker's supposed to be helping me. Talk about why. Why? How? <laughs> Michael McIntosh says, which in up? Say, bruh. To my oven touches. <laughs> I know we not this hard up, man. This nigga then said she broke up with my regular self. She didn't break up with my alter ego, my alias. You know what I'm saying? She didn't wake up. She didn't she didn't break up with my second personality, dog. This man is delusional, dog. Let her go, bro. She dumped you after she cheated on you. Come on, man. Why would you want her back? That don't make no damn sense. Sounds counterproductive if you ask me. Suspect keeps getting her nigga took by the same girl. Nice. Suspect can't get over this high schooler. <laughs> Suspect got catfished by a short fat nigga. Suspect can't keep a girl for more than two weeks. Suspect wants to be an NFL white but stuck with 757 niggas. <laughs> Suspect claims light skin is his type but still messing with this dark skin girl. Suspect was messing with a scarab that only bought her Happy Meals. Suspect got a tattoo and hasn't worn pants since. <laughs> Suspect's been in college for a month and already has a death threat from a football player. Hey, man, y'all know what's crazy? The fact that he dating a senior in high school and he a freshman in college, let me tell you something. It's a whole bunch of infidelity going on. He trying to hit something new, and she probably getting hit by somebody at her school. Real talk. Straight up. I'm going to keep it a stack with you, bro. You can't put nothing past them, though. You know what I'm saying? I, I know niggas who tried to date women who went to other schools and shit, and, you know, word got back that niggas was in there blowing her back out. I tried to warn one of my partners. I said, say, bro, you don't want to date her. I go to school with her, bro. I know so many niggas. Though the whole basketball team hit. Then this nigga got the nerve to be mad at one of the niggas on the basketball team for hitting the girl. That's what she do. She gets smashed, bro. You can't get mad at that girl or him. And he know... Who I'm talking about. Now look, speaking of cheating and infidelity and all that kind of stuff, man, y'all gotta check out this next clip, man. Dude brought up a lot of points that I definitely agree with. <laughs> the very first time I ever got cheated on and I found out a nigga had his in my bitch and she allowed that shit, when I found out that she would just give it neck, there's no forgiving that for me. There's just not. I will never be able to sit right there and think to myself, I can forgive. You see, I, look, every time I talk about cheating, y'all see how I always stare like that? And it's hard for me to move my head, my eyes get stuck? That's a sign of clinical PTSD. That's called shell shock syndrome, nigga. World War II, shout out Saving Private Ryan. You ever seen that movie? You see how my eyes wouldn't move? I kept moving my head like this, it wouldn't move? That's PTSD. That's trauma. So when niggas be like, I see why you act like that, nigga, that's why, nigga. When you find out your is sucking, nigga, do you know how hurtful that is to a man? So I can't forgive a for cheating, bro. A is, is emotionally cheating. She's texting niggas complaining about you. She's 
taking it in the wazoo. She has another nigga bent over. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm gonna say a, a nigga has her bent over. That sounded crazy. Wait, what? <laughs> Type of freaky shit. Nah, y'all niggas going for clips. I swear to God, y'all going for clips. Y'all know what I'm saying. They project a lot of their insecurities and they project a lot of the nasty shit they're doing on you. I hope y'all know that. If you have a girlfriend right now that has set you up on loyalty tests, that has asked you multiple questions, that has made you unfollow a lot of bitches on social media, that has done a lot of shit like that, ever since y'all got together all the way up until when you think y'all are good, I hope you know she's not loyal. Whatever she has you doing, she's doing behind your back 100% of the time. Anything that she don't want you doing, she's doing to you. And the reason why that women sit right there and do that to you is because they don't want to feel the same hurt they putting you through. I tell y'all all the time. They love to play the fucking game. They love to sit right there and play the game all day. But as soon as you say, all right, let me plug my controller in. I, you can play that game. Let's put it on split screen. Now, all of a sudden, everyone say, no, we don't need to do that to each other. No, that's, we don't, that's not what real, real relationships are. I don't, want you, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want you to hurt me. Now, all of a sudden, it's, it's, a, it's a, now I'm a good person. No, baby. That's not how it works for me, nigga. If y'all have a girl right now that's pressing you about some shit and you're not a f nigga with dumb f nigga shit, check that phone, nigga. I'm telling you right now, you might see me in there, nigga. See, I got to speak my piece on this one. Check this out, bro. As a man, I, me personally, I can't speak for none of y'all. But the things that I do for a woman is not the same thing I expect her to do for me. Straight up. With that being said, if a woman go out there and let another nigga touch the back of the oven, I don't want her no more. She better keep that shit so under. You know what I'm saying? She better make sure that I never find out because that's unacceptable. I don't ask much from a woman. Like, I really don't. Like, you don't got to. I don't need you to pay my bills. I'm self-sufficient. I don't. I can do everything on my own. God forbid me ask you just not to go and get your back blown out by another nigga. I'm just. It's not. It's not too much to ask, man. I'm not asking for much at all. Be faithful, <laughs> straight up. You gonna want a nigga to put you in a house, a car, your dad take you out, vacations, plan for the future, all that kind of shit. There. That's a lot of work on my part. That's a whole lot to ask for. That's basically like being somebody parent. All I need you to do Shut the fuck up <laughs> I'm joking But Don't cheat It's really not that much to ask bro I don't understand that Come to bed with that nightgown if you want to You gonna get fucked right up out of that nightgown See Let me let me put y'all young, young men on bro Get you a girl that wear nightgowns bro Get you a girl that's gonna be putting on that moo moo when, when, when she go to bed Because you gotta think bro it feels way better with the Moomoo on. Is this Ocho Cinco, son? And then, look, the benefits of a woman wearing a Moomoo, right? Because this is what we call it. The, 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 def, the, in the book definition is a nightgown, but it's a Moomoo. So, the benefits of a woman wearing a Moomoo, she look good in it, right? It's soft, it's plush. Okay. Right? That ass is, that ass be everywhere in that nightgown. Them Moomoo be everywhere. <sighs> Them boobs be everywhere in the nightgown, bro. She be oiled up, greased up, Ooh, lips be greasy wait. and fuck, face greasy and fuck, cause she just got through doing her face, right? And when she when she lay on the bed with her stomach, you can just lift that motherfucker up. Even when she lay on the bed face up, you can lift that motherfucker up, Ooh, twin. Wait. You can lift that motherfucker up. You can lift that motherfucker up, and and they cheap. You can go to Walmart if 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 you want to give her a little gift or some show a little appreciation. Go and get a nightgown, twin. <laughs> go and get a nightgown and tell her, hey, whatever for me, baby. Think you look good in there. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Put your mom. So game. like, if if you if if, if you if you laying in the bed with me. Preferably come to bed with the nightgown with nothing up under it. Type shit. I'm going to keep saying this. I'm going to keep saying this shit. Say, dog, I don't know what it is, man. It's like they got it on. It's like it's sexy, but it's not over the top. It's like I could get it, but then you don't know if you going to get it. So it's always that element of surprise when they got that on. You see what I'm saying? Like it could go down if you, if she wanted to and it will be easy. All you got to do is slip that thing. You know what I'm saying? And touch the back of the oven. I mean, I see where you went with that. You can't get mad at that. Your grandma used to wear that around the house all the time. They had 13, 14 kids, man. You got six aunts. You got a Geraldine. You got an ogre. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You got a Hattie Mae. I'm saying your grandma had buku kids, man. And that's what she wore. You know what's so funny about that pop the balloon lady? She's married. 
she's fucking and she's fucking married and she got a house or her man and they be making tiktoks together she really be lining y'all up and embarrassing y'all and she go back to her man and rub her feet together while she editing the videos that bitch is evil you know what's crazy you don't have to be a criminal to catch criminals you don't have to be special ed to teach special needs kids you don't have to be sick to treat the sick you, I, I'm, I'm not get, I'm not getting where she going with this, bro. Real talk. She don't have to be single, desperate, and lonely to host the show. It, it, it just doesn't compute. It doesn't calculate, bro. I don't understand where you're going with it. <laughs> Straight up, man. I heard the best pickup line ever today, and I wanted to share because somebody used this. I think it will work. Preface, I love a corny pickup line. I think they're so funny, right? So I was walking in the streets of Philadelphia today on my way to the bank, right? And um, I walked past this car. A guy is sitting in there. I had my headphones on. He's like, excuse me, to get my attention. And I was like, oh, sorry. Like, what happened, right? Because I thought I missed something because I have my headphones on. And he's like, oh, um, do you know this area well? Are you from here? I'm like, well, I don't, I, I'm not originally from here, but I go to school here, so I know it well enough. Like, do you need help with something? All right, baby. And he's like, oh, okay, um, I just need help with some directions. And I was like, oh, where are you trying to go? And this man says, how do we go from here to our first date? Tight <laughs> shit, God damn it. <laughs> That is so smooth. That is so funny. And I was like, oh my goodness. That is actually hilarious. I am unavailable, but you should use it on somebody else. Like, genuinely, as a woman, I think that's really funny. I think hitting on someone is such a brave exercise that when men hit on me, I try to be really nice about it, right? Even if, like, I'm not interested. Like, I try to encourage them. <laughs> That's very sweet of you. Because it's actually such a hard thing to do. You face a lot of rejection in doing so. Let me see how that'll work here in New Orleans. Say love, excuse me. You from around here? This Holly Grove, huh? Yeah, this Holly Grove. Why? Oh, because I'm trying to see if I can get directions to our first date. Boy, get your lame ass on my face, boy. Nigga don't want your stupid looking ass, boy. That was lame as <laughs> <laughs> they gonna cut up over here, boy. That corny ass shit ain't gonna work. When you get your homeboy the keys for the night, and it come back looking like this. What in the God given? Hey man, you, hey man, real talk. This is really a message for the younger crowd because older gentlemen such as myself, we should know better by now. But when you a young dude, bro, if you know that you got a partner that stay in some shit, man, you can't let this man drive your car. You can't be riding in the car with him. You really just can't be outside with this nigga, dog. I had, I wouldn't call them partners, but dudes in the neighborhood that I was cool with and shit like that. You know, enough to the point where they'd be like, man, come take a walk with me. No. You may get shot on the way to the store, and they ain't got no type of aim. I fuck around and get hit with a straight bullet. Now, my mom and them crying all because I made a bad decision to go into the store with you. Bruh, certain niggas can't come to my house. Certain niggas I will not be picking up, giving no rise to. They, I know my lane at this point, man. <laughs> y'all got to learn that when y'all young. I know the niggas might come eat me up for this in the comments, but whatever. When y'all used to say that, like, well, y'all still be saying, like, oh, I never did light skin me. I used to be like, why? They be kind of cute. But you feel me? I've dated a light skinned man before. No shade to him. Just want shit to do with him. But it's like when a light skinned man is cute, they be a little too close to pretty for me. When a brown skinned man is cute, they be fine. Like it don't never give pretty, like pretty boy, if y'all feel what I'm saying. Hmm. And from my personal point of view, I can be the only light skinned motherfucker around here. I'm sorry. If I decide to have a kid, I need my kid to have a little shot at being just a little bit melanated. Just a little. And I'm not even going to hold y'all. Light skinned men got them personality traits that only light skinned men got. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I ain't even gonna say too much. It's just certain traits that they got that, you feel me, darker tone men don't be having sometimes. And I know the niggas probably finna eat me up in the comments and all of that. That's fine. But this just how I feel. And I don't think I'll be able to date, like, seriously a light skinned man again. Like, they, it just don't be hitting for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> You know, I heard this a lot, man, from a lot of black women, though. They really feel like light-skinned dudes is sassy, man. It's sensitive and soft. It is what it is. Like, they will think that about you before they even give you a chance, partner. Straight up. Dark-skinned dudes are automatically perceived to be more dominant and masculine. Straight up. It is what it is, man. You know? 
I didn't see women tell dudes, light skinned men, that you got dark skin energy when they don't behave like the typical light skinned dude. And you know, I think it all stems back from colorism and shit like that. You know, a lot of light skinned dudes got preferential treatment when they was kids and shit like that. I told y'all just last week, a girl told me one time when I was even lighter than I am now that I will never be ugly for the simple fact that I'm light skinned. Now, imagine you growing up hearing shit like that your whole life. It's pretty privileged on the male side, basically. And when you grow up, people thinking, telling you that you guys gift to earth and shit, you can have that tone that a lot of women just don't like. But you know what I see? Come straight up, man. Be yourself. I don't care. Because <laughs> they still going to let you hit. They talk all this shit on the internet like they don't like light-skinned niggas. Like them boys still ain't hitting. Them niggas is still hitting. <laughs> I'm going to be honest right now. I don't know what's worse. A YN or these women crashing out with this dude trying to talk about what I look like asking about another woman. Mm. I promise you, y'all scare me and I'm not lying. I ain't see a woman post a video of her slicing a tire. I ain't see a woman of her throwing some hot water on a man as he's knocked out in her bed. I saw smoked, that one. Sleeping like a baby. I ain't even see ones. We all sitting up there trying to fight the man. One shorty said her man bit her in the back and she still got the bruise. But the ones that scare me the most, I'll be honest, the people that I have always been scared of are the people that have learned how to control their emotions and they laugh. That's how you know you've triggered someone and or you have sent them to a whole nother dimension. You ever been so mad that you don't cry, you don't throw things, you just laugh because why do you think I'm a goofy? Fellas, I'm telling you, go ahead and look up this challenge. If you thought about doing something you wasn't supposed to do, I promise you this gonna scare you straight. Yeah, bro, they got a whole lot of women that crashed out, you know, trying to do this damn trend or whatever or showing videos of them crashing out for the trend man people are crazy bro y'all gotta watch who y'all playing with out here bro <laughs> i'm talking about for real these women will send you to the upper room dog everybody's got their type right my bedroom is like a civil rights water fountain colors only what the <laughs> was that supposed to be a compliment what the hell Say, bro, I'm used to women getting on the internet saying some dumb ass shit that'll get them in trouble. Not too much of, like, men. And, like, you know, obviously he got a thing for the chocolate bunnies or whatever. But if the right person at his job in the HR department see this, this can get him terminated. Just because somebody could take offense to it. It's just certain things you're not supposed to do if you're smart. <laughs> All right, so look, in the next clip I'm about to show y'all, I, I need y'all to put y'all thinking caps on because, though, you got to look at the woman and then listen to what she's saying and just piece it together because it's common sense. <laughs> so I'm finally officially divorced and okay. I'm ready to talk about some of the things that has happened. And one of the things was three months ago, I found out my best friend was one of my husband's sugar babies. Oh, really wow. Hard. Um, not as hard as everything I found out in the beginning when I left my ex, but really hard because I trusted this girl so much and I kicked everyone out of my life except for her. Uh, it really seems as though there is no longer any honor amongst thieves, man. Straight up. Now, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I don't know this girl, nor have I seen the best friend, but what I can uh, deduce from this situation she was in a sugar baby situation the dude sounds like he's probably much older than she is so she probably hangs around the type of women who are predators like her i'm gonna call her a predator just for the simple fact you a young woman and you probably was dating a nigga that was 50 plus 60 years old because he had money and that was the only reason why you was with him right and and when you got what you got and felt like it was enough you pulled the plug and wanted a divorce now your best friend want to run the same play. You should encourage her. Y'all are both, you know what I'm saying? Low vibrational. <laughs> I don't know these people. I'm talking shit. I could, man, I could have this all wrong. Ladies, and another thing, allow that man to save his money. Men Ooh, are expected to spend money. When he take you out on a date, he's expected to cover that bill. Mm. When he books a, a vacation, he's expected to cover that tag, right? Mm. That man always makes sure you are good. It's always good to reciprocate that energy. Mm. Call his job. Let him know he's gonna be out a couple of days. 
you surprise them with a trip. A cam, a facial, a massage. Every now and then, it's okay to pick up the flag. It's nothing wrong with it. It's nothing wrong with it. Man doesn't have to spend because you cover that. Much as he show you that you're important to him, show him he's important too. Make sure he's, how's his mental state? Type he shit. Good? He gonna appreciate you. Real. Trust me. You know what, goddammit? This woman right here is growing on me, man. She got a positive message that I can get down with, bro. And it's encouraging, right? It's actually, it's hopeful. It gives me hope for the future. Because if enough women see her talking that talk, and none of them can say she'll pick me. Because first of all, ma'am, do you see this woman? She's 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 easy on the eyes. She could pull niggas. Let's be real. She ain't in that boat where she gotta try to impress no nigga. Man, I know niggas lined up by, at the door for her. I already know, goddammit. She she light skinned and she got cat eyes, some long hair. That's a nigga's kryptonite. A dog skinned dude would sell his left testicle and his unborn child for that. I'm telling I know niggas, man. Y'all better listen to her, bro. <laughs>